So this is a Sega Mega Drive 2. It's made two versions of this. Uh, this is one of them, and the other one, version of it is... Um, it's it's a big sort of round... It's fatter. This one's just smaller. Where to even begin on this thing? Uh, so I bought this on eBay. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was like £25 with two controllers, the original power supply, and RF. Um, I'm a bit close up, aren't we? Let's go to the overhead view. Uh, I have plugged it in and verified that it can run. Came with a reproduction cart. A reproduction cart is basically a. It's not a very good reproduction cart. In fact, let me just find it and show it to you. So what this is is a generic, like flashable chip. Um, let me just put the lights back on. Right, so, um, yeah, inside here there's going to be a chip with a little bit of flash memory on it, and somebody's plugged this into a computer and they have put on Flink. I have no idea what this is. This is the American style. Um, obviously it says Genesis, because this is the Mega Drive in America, it's called the Genesis. Um, it's like cut like, so it's Sega, like half the fucking word, so it looks like trash. This is fine. Um, this game works. And this. So I have here Sonic 2, which also says Genesis on it. I'm not entirely sure why it says Genesis on the cartridge. I don't know if all Sega drives that uh, games did. It says Mega Drive on the box. Sure, these are real because these came out of somebody's attic. This one says Mega Drive on it. So I don't know. Maybe the Sega cart said Genesis, um, if it's an American cart. I very much doubt it's an American cart. Sega made in Japan, doesn't say about being PAL or anything on it. So there's no like, region protection on this. Um, I don't think it was just either a PAL or an NTSC console. And this is a PAL version of the console, um, which we'll see somewhere, I'm sure. No, oh, it doesn't work. This is supposed to have a cover on it, it's missing it. Okay, um... Uh, the, the fact that it's a PAL console doesn't really mean that much. It can be converted to... Um... A Region 3 console, with an addition of a mod chip, which is what I've got here. So I bought that, I got that pretty cheap, it was £11. Um, so that's one project that I'll be doing soon. I've got other plans for this because I've been playing um, I've been playing Police Nuts on Thursdays and I want to play Snatcher on the original hardware and Snatcher was a Sega CD game. So um, that's going to be pretty tricky to set up. It's going to require a lot of moving parts. It's going to be a while before I get to it. Um, but Getting a setup with a Sega Mega Drive is part one of that. So, right now, one of the other things I wanted to show you was, I don't know if you can see that here, but there is a significant thickness difference between these two cartridges, the reproduction one and the original, which makes the reproduction difficult to fit into the actual console. Um, whereas this one goes in a little bit too easy. Now, if you pop this open here, you see. I'm going to get the other camera and show you that. Um, I'll be just as you can see when I open it up, I think. In here... See some sort of blackness around the slot there? Somebody spilled something in the cartridge slot. So I think this just needs to get cleaned out. Because currently... This will only play the reproduction cart that it came with. So, I need to test that. And then I've got something else I would like to try out. And I think that's where we'll call it a night. So that's a quick job, hopefully. So the mods that I'm thinking about doing for this... Oh, so the original um, Mega Drive, the Mega Drive 1, as it's kind of called. This is a Mega Drive 2. This is a smaller profile on it. Um, but each, not the each version did not get worse. 
This version, the Mega Drive 2s, are always considered to have inferior audio quality to most of the Mega Drive 1s, but not all of them. There's lots of caveats depending on which factory the, the damn thing was made in. But, um, yeah, the original Mega Drive only put output in mono audio as well. Though no, I think this actually put out stereo. But it might have been a mono signal split into stereo, so I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, I don't think there was any games that used stereo. It's 2D, it's... What is stereo added to 2D? I guess everything's technically 2D, but you know what I mean, right? Okay. So you can see there's lots of blue capacitors here. Let's give them a visual inspection. Rubicon made these apparently. Ruby with a Y. Some of these solder joints are pretty dry looking. Um, but I can see no sign of capacitors leaking at all. Which is pretty much what I expected. But that doesn't mean that they're not dry. They'll still be dry. I think I've actually desoldered this. Sort of descrewed, unscrewed, descrewed. I was it descrewed? That's not a word. Did I must screw here. I think that should just pop up now. But no matter, that's not what we're here for. We're here to clean up the grime around the cartridge slot, which you can see much more clearly now. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. So we're going to clean all that up and we're going to just get the brush in the cartridge slot then reassemble and see if it will actually play Sonic 2. It's starting to come out now. Not that I expect, you know, there to be a problem but I don't want anything corroding the board under the... And I know that this works because it's... Lactic brush. So I'm just coming out of it. What's that? Yeah. Fucking garbage. What's that? Food and stuff. Here's and oh, this pin's a little bit corroded here. So this is why I'm doing this. I do believe that the reason that the game is working is just because there's a poor connection between. If I can get you zoomed in so you can get a better look at what I'm doing here. So you can see it in book first hand. You can actually see now they destroyed up a little bit. Us. Um, oops, wrong direction. You can see all the muck from underneath the cartridge, so it's been sprayed around by my brushing. What's the deal? I'll have to give that a pop up clean. Where's my book pads? I don't know, am I almost there? I think I'll steal more from my wife. Okay. It's actually looking a lot better than the brushes, but I don't know, I think the brushes broken out. There you go. Okay. I think that's probably as clean as I can reasonably expect it to be tonight. 
in terms of cost at this space model at the moment. Clean credit card with a bit of cloth wrapped around it would be ideal if I'd put that in there, but I don't I'm not prepared for that. And it has to be like a pure cotton cloth, not like a it has to be a, a cotton cloth, like a t-shirt, like an old t-shirt cut into ribbons. You can't just use like a duster or something that's too thick, it has to be something very thin. Or you're gonna, obviously you're gonna completely fucking ruin the cartridge slot if you're trying to force anything big into it. So. We want to clean the pins on the game itself. Yeah, there we go. That's... Okay. Of course, bits. Make sure that I don't create any resistance or anything. Right, okay, now I've put it back together again. So, this is the same exact same game bit that Nintendo was using. Which is kind of weird, to be honest. Don't know the history of the game bit. But they were. Nintendo and Sega both used the same one. And then Nintendo switched out to using the Tri-Wing. When did they start using... No, they used the Tri-Wing in the game bit at the same time, I think, actually. Okay, let's flip this bad way open. There we go, we've got a little capacitor on the dang game itself, isn't that weird? I wonder if that'll need replaced at some point. I mean, well, that'll need replaced at some point, as well, do. There you go. Okay, so we're going to clean these contacts. Oh! Is that damaged contact or I don't think I really understand the trace for that one. Okay, it's actually a little bit dirty as well. I should have given myself some more of these cotton pads. Or about the kitchen roll. It's not very bad, folks. I clean one, I mean, not just a random piece. I can't out my case. Alright, so I estimate we've got about 10 15 minutes. We'll call it a day here. So I'm just going to clean this up, clean up these contacts. Gotta be very careful with these contacts because they're. I know Nintendo were in the habit of using gold plating on them. So you have to be careful because they're very, very thin plating, obviously. And then gold is very soft. They were obsessed with it at one point. I think they still do it with like switch cartridges and stuff. But I'm pretty sure they were doing it up to the Game Boy Advance era. Like it was copper, then something on top of it, I think, and then gold. To make sure that the, it's like gold plating to me. Yeah. I don't know if Sega did the same, but it looks like gold to me. It doesn't look like copper. So you have to be very careful. So alcohol and a wee cotton swab. Hopefully clean off any markings. And uh, ensure a good clean connection. So there we go. Good as new, huh? Spotless. Right. Oh, it's just plastic. <laughs> I'm trying to unscrew this because there's a little nut. It looks like a nut. <laughs> so there's your reproduction board. As you can see, that's definitely not gold. I'm going to guess that's nickel. Um, I'll switch over to the uh, close up camera. Right, 
Okay, so let's plug in a controller and see if it works. So this didn't work last time I tried it, so if this is improved matters, everything's paid off. Let's see, let's see. It's on. Two in a night. Look at that. And whether well, that looks like trash, it's having to get up. It's going through composite video getting upscaled by not a nearest neighbor algorithm. So it's, yes, it looks like trash. Let's see if it was. I don't know if there's a sound. That's beautiful. Look at that, it's not working. I'll just get a that's what I need. I can't hear it, so that's a bit of a shame, but I was never going to do it so much. This controller's, this controller's contacts are dirty, I didn't notice that until right now. You can tell. Oh, it's really, the D-pad is real bad. The buttons are okay. The D-pad is like... Crunchy is the best way to describe it. There's definitely some sort of debris in here. But that'll, that'll be a dog for another day. Boom! It's almost like what a video game. <laughs> Can't believe that. What's so easy? It's two for two and one after. Let me see how many streams, it was five streams in a row where I basically did nothing but break stuff or fail to fix stuff. And I've got two things fixed in one night, I've got a oh, certain value I fixed. I'm um, pretty pleased with that outcome. I think I'll finish this level if I can, and then we'll put it in. Jesus, this is real bad. I think it was the other controller that I must have tried it with, because... I, I, like I said, I'd tested this before, I think I would have noticed. Um, let me see if the... The microphone might pick up how this sounds. Yeah, it's very unpleasant to actually use. Alright! Okay folks, um, I need a scene that's just my face because I can really only go back. Nope. These ones. Uh, yeah. I think that's us calling it for